Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal Impossible here. Today, we're checking out a game called Hidden Valley Tower Defense. And uh, this is a first impression. This game has not officially come out yet, but I, I saw a little bit of art for it. It looked really cute. It's a tower defense game. We're going to be killing lots of things. I thought, I thought, you know, it's a good fit for the channel. So uh, the only thing I can really say about it, it does not have a full screen mode. I don't know if that's coming or not. Look in the options here. It's not here. We have the resolution. There's no screen, a full screen mode. It's kind of a little bit of a peeve of mine, but... We'll continue on anyway. Let's see what's going on. We're going to create a new profile here. And our defender name is going to be Defender Bum. It's the Defender of Bums the world over. <laughs> there we go. All right, we are now Defender Bum. I don't know if we're going to level up or however that works. Let's go into new game. Are we going to gamify things? Hmm. Welcome to the Hidden Valley where we're defending for our lives. Against what? The hordes of enemies beyond the mists, of course. This castle is what's holding up that magic barrier protecting the townsfolk, so the enemies will be targeting me. Build some towers and upgrade your spells to defend this castle. You can use your mouse to build, cast, and move the camera around. Or you can use the keyboard, wasp, and number keys. I don't think I'll use the number keys. I don't use them very often. Well, maybe for hotkeys. I thought it was for movement. Anyway, let's continue on. Building defenses take gold. You'll get some each turn, so manage it wisely. Press the start wave button when you're ready. Once pressed, you won't be able to build until the end of a wave. It's pretty normal for a tower defense type games. Uh, take some time to plan. After this wave, I'll, uh, I'll year starting artifact ready. If we survive, that is. After this wave, I'll year starting art... I don't... All your starting artifacts are... I don't know. That's, that sounds a little weird. I'm not sure how, how that English applies. <laughs> All right. So uh, just, you know, a little little background in the game. Uh, basically, from what I understand, it's kind of like the uh, the layout is randomly generated every match. Uh, so, the, like, you have to create, like, walls in between these uh, little, like, areas here. Like, here and here. And you want to kind of maze things around, if at all possible. So right now, all the baddies are going to want to be coming through here and killing our uh, our stuff. So you want to try to, like, herd them somewhere, somehow. We have, what is this, an archer tower and a wooden wall. How many wooden walls can we put up? How much gold do we have? This, where does it say? I, I see... We have 700. Okay, so we, we can afford a fair few walls. Can we just, like... I, I can hit two. Okay, I, if, I was, if I wasn't able to hit two, that was going to take quite a while. Okay, we can do that. We can wall off this area up here. I'm gonna see if I can put them all towards the, to the left, if at all possible. I don't, I don't know how possible that it's gonna be, but I'm gonna try. And it might be way too expensive. I really don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna funnel them all over this way. There we go, and we'll uh, have them come through here. Uh, maybe I don't know. We'll put some. Maybe we'll just put some archer towers here as they go by. Is that is that something that, that could happen? Can we just sell, like, archer towers right there? I don't know if they're going to attack them as they go by, or if they'll just keep walking as long as there's a path. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to put a archer tower here. So they have to walk this way. Can they get through this? I don't know if they can get through that or not. Can I build there? That'll tell me. I can. Okay, so they should be able to walk through there. Okay, so then I'll go through here. Maybe I should put another archer tower here. I don't know if I'm... Oh, God, I built over there. I didn't want to build over there. How do I unbuild it? Uh, unbuild? Is there, like, a delete button? Hitting delete does not work. That uh, That's just a wall over there we have to deal with now. I didn't, I didn't mean for that to be there, but apparently it's going to be there forever. Okay, so now let me see where they're going to go. We're going to want them to kind of route back up this way. Maybe I could throw a couple more towers here. There we go, got one there, there, and as they come up back this way, maybe we'll make sure they have to come back up so they get back in the range of our stuff there. I should probably be using the hotkeys, that makes a lot more sense. So now they can't go through here, they have to go up here, and uh, we'll put some stuff here, and maybe route them around a little bit. We'll put, we'll put some thingies here so that they'll shoot them as they come through there. I'm not mazing this very well at all, I, I know that without a doubt. Uh, let me see here, I'm going to want to route them up this way i guess like that so they have to come up here again so maybe we should put some uh, archer towers around here as well that way they have to get shot as they're coming to and fro 
And uh, let me see, can we put a wall like here? I don't know if they can get through here or not. I like I want to make sure they can't get here. I don't know. I don't know if they can get through that or not. I'm just gonna say maybe they can't. I don't know. Maybe it's just safer to do this. Let me just do like that. That way they have to come through and go all the way up here again. That is the plan. How much? Oh, I still have a lot of money left. I should probably throw down more stuff. All right. Well, let's. Maybe we can shoot at them as they're going by this whole time. Let's just like throw down stuff over here. There we go. And I don't know if they're going to bust through our walls over here or not. I might have to redo that. Uh, let me just throw down a bunch of archer towers because I don't know what I'm doing yet. And I'm sure I'm going to fail and we're going to have to start over anyway. <laughs> so let's just do it like that. There we go. We'll just hit start and we'll see what happens. This is going to be a learning ex uh, experience at this point. Uh, they're coming. Don't forget you can use spells when you're defending a wave of enemies. I don't know where my spells are. Is that a spell? Uh, select a spell from the right hand side menu or use numbers 1, 2, 3 as hockeys. Spells cost mana, which only regener regenerate a little per turn. Alright, where are my spells? Does I Oh, they're over here. Okay, I have a fireball and a one hockey. Okay, fair enough. I don't want to use it yet. Uh, let's hit forward until like we start seeing things. There we go. I guess we'll hit forward a little bit faster here. At least until they start hitting stuff. All right, are we going to start hitting them yet? There we go. They're in range finally. Let's, well, let's watch the action here. Are we going to die a horrible death? I want to see if they break through here. Like, maybe I should have put walls here. I'm not entirely sure. They don't seem to be trying to break through my stuff. So maybe as long as I give them a path to go through, they'll just avoid it and just let me beat up on them. Let me go 2x speed here, at least. Because I like watching things die, but this is uh, very early on. We're not doing all that much... Sp splendiferous action yet. It's just all archer towers. And uh, hopefully we get these guys taken out. Setting it up so that they run through the same spot several times seems like it'd be pretty smart. I uh, see so we got 300 gold from towers and mana from towers and enemies and stuff. All right, whoa, we're still alive. Don't you get cocky now. There's a lot more where that came from. Um, I should, probably should have told you earlier, during the build phase, you can hold shift to build the same tower multiple times. Yeah, that would have been handy, Mr. Wizard Man. Just saying. Okay, we'll get to it. Uh, choose your starting artifact. I don't know what these things do. A war horn. All small towers do one damage and have extra attacks for a uh, second. Uh, all your towers have an additional 100 health. Uh, gain two mana per second while defending when mana is below 25%. So, like, as long as you keep your mana low, you get extra mana. I'm going to go with the old war horn here. I'm going to be tower defense uh, oriented here. And uh, we have more money. We can throw down more stuff. Um, we could try doing that. Let me see how if there's ways I can uh, make people take more damage here. Like, I can just have them walk around here a little bit. As long as they can still walk through here, which I assume they can, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, okay. That way they should be able to fire on them uh, the entire way, essentially. Yeah, I like that. As long as they can still fit. Let me just do something like that. So we'll fire at them the entire time they're walking around this little column here. I like that. And uh, I guess we can keep running them on this way. Why even use walls at all? Just have archer towers everywhere. Is that everything I can afford? That's everything I can afford. Let's go ahead and start it. Incoming wave number two. While you can't build during a wave, you can upgrade towers. Click on a tower to see its stats and upgrade any of them with the upgrade button. All right. Uh, we can do that. But can we see f people coming first? We can pay the spy. That's interesting. Maybe that'll let you know what's coming next. Okay, we got more guys coming, but we got them all being funneled over here. Can we upgrade this? Uh, scrap. Where's the upgrade button? I don't see an upgrade button. And the bottom is a little bit cut off because it won't go into full uh, full screen mode, unfortunately, it looks like. Uh, they died really fast. I should probably use my mana or something. Uh, so far, you've only seen little grunts. Some enemies are three times bigger, so if your maze width is too narrow, they'll punch a hole in it. Oh! Well, I wish I had known that. You could have tell, you know, Mr. Wizard, you're telling me things way too late sometimes. I'm just saying. Uh, the enemies just want to attack the castle, but will attack your other towers if they get stuck. Uh, token of the town's appreciation. We'll take a dice here. Gain 10 gold this turn and have an additional option next time. Minor artifacts. Meh. Tower repairs. I don't, I don't need that right now. Mana potion. 
Gained 60 mana when picking up this artifact. Remodeling tools for the next five tower scraps return 100% of the value. This can also be used. I think I'll do this one because I'm going to have to move some things. Unfortunately, he didn't tell me things until way too late. So I'm going to have to like change things up. Otherwise, they're going to rampage around my uh, castle here. So uh, this, let me see here. I don't know exactly how they go. they're going to go, if I'm being honest. I think they're going to break over here. So let's see if we can get this stuff fixed. Is there, is there, an, can I hit X? Okay, I can hit X. That does help. There we go. That should be enough room for the, uh, the guys to get through, hopefully. We'll put that down. Um, I'm thinking they may rampage through here, since that, they won't be able to fit through there. That could be a problem. Uh, maybe I should put some things up here in case they just decide they want to go this way. Also, I, I can scrap this now, so I should probably do that. Uh, ideally, they wouldn't come here at all, but if they do, we'll have no defenses whatsoever. I think I'll just ignore over here and just be like, I'll just put my fingers in my ears and go, nah, 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 it's not going to happen. And then we'll die horribly when it does. That sounds fun. Uh, let me see here. Let's just put down a whole bunch of archer towers around the way somewhere. I'm sure we're going to get totally destroyed. So uh, may as well just go crazy on towers and see what see what mayhem we could uh, we could raise here. Go we could put a little bit more here. I'm sure we're gonna die horribly over this way. Like over here, I kind of don't want these towers here anymore. Can I get rid of those? Uh, let me see here. Can I click on it? Yeah, we'll scrap it. We'll scrap you as well. If they can get through here, I'd rather them do that instead of destroying things. And uh, we'll put some more towers over here. Try to help things out a little bit as they go by. Are we out of money? We are officially out of money. Let's go ahead and hit the start then. And I'm going to use Fireball against any big guys we see. Oh, another defender. It's like the Skeleton King guy. I've been so bored. Hey, I'll even take it easy on you for a few rounds. All right. Careful, he's sending armored units. Armored units have a shield next to their health bar. They take less damage depending on how much armor they have, so hit them hard! Well, I only have the, the archer towers. There's not much I could do, buddy. Right, let's, let's speed it up until we see him, at least. Where you at, guys? Alright, they're armored. Are we gonna... Can we, should we fireball them? Get fireballed. They didn't hit them very hard at all. Should we fireball them more? Yeah, okay. We fireballed them a little bit. Hit them again. Uh... Hit him again. There we go. Alright, we got some mana back. We got some money. You might have noticed a research book over there. Open it up to research new towers on page one and spells on page two. Better plan up ahead and get your enemies will be sending more advanced units too. Hopefully one of these will help. All your towers get four additional health. It doesn't seem very big, honestly. Uh, castle HP up 5%? Sure, why not? Alright, let's research stuff. It seems like researching things seems like it'd be good. Enchanted walls return damage back to the attacker for 25 damage per level. That seems pretty powerful. Archer tower, uh, through intense... Wait, are these already unlocked? This is like upgrading this? Alright, these are already unlocked. Okay, I was a little... Is it? Okay, I guess it is. How do we unlock more things? Ballista tower. Oh, we, oh, it, it did it without me even meaning to. I just wanted to click into it, but I guess now I know. Uh, skinnier archers, crossbowmen. Increased tower health and damage. Can pierce one unit and does double damage to air units. Mayhaps. I think Ballista was probably still a good one to go with. Flame tower. Repurposed pizza oven in the short range tower that spews flames on all sides. Does damage to all enemy units in range. So it's, it's good AOE tower. All right. I don't mind something like that. Mana generator. That seems good. Uh, okay, let's make a mana generator. So we can do more mana generating. Alright, let's click this one here. It's a uh, five. Let's put it somewhere safe. I think over here would be relatively safe. There we go. Hopefully nothing comes in over there. I don't have anything over there. So if they come that way, we're in trouble. Can we, like, mine that or something? Spell amplifier monument. Uh, we can have, uh, excavate it for 200 bucks. Interesting. Yeah, I like that idea. We, we can't afford to do that yet, but we, sh we should do it soon. Where's the uh, other thing we have? I researched how to do the uh, the ballista, didn't I? Did I not? 
Ballista? Maybe I just don't have the money for it. Might be like in here somewhere and I just can't see it. Oh yeah, Ballista Tower. I just can't afford it. Same with the mana uh, generator, which I just built. Okay, so we'll build the Ballista next time. Uh, I guess it's time to just start and see what happens. We haven't upgraded anything at all, so I'm sure we're going to die horribly. Uh, ghouls! These are uncouth creatures. They're pretty weak, but they'll attack any of your towers in sight. Well, that sucks. I'm going to fireball these guys. I don't like them at all. I didn't, I didn't like, guard my things properly, so that's going to be trouble. From now on, maybe I should just actually use walls and then put my towers behind it. These guys are super slow. Let's, uh, let's speed them up a little bit here. I mean, I guess it makes sense for ghouls to be so slow, but I'm just saying. Maybe they could speed it up a little bit. I don't know. All right, let's start fireballing these guys a little bit. Yeah, get fireballed on. Uh, yeah, they're the... Oh, wait, there's a ghoul. Hit that ghoul with a fireball or two. The other ones I don't really care about. I think we'll be fine. Uh, can I... Can I unfireball? I don't want to accidentally send fireballs as I try to, you know, do things. The hitting other hotkeys doesn't turn fireball off, so I'm not really sure what to do with that. There we go. We're, we're out of it. We're okay. We got another 300 gold. Another extra little bit of mana. Uh, by the way, you might have noticed the sand dunes scattered throughout this valley. The sand seems to slow down the enemies a little. It's not much, but it's uh, use it to your advantage. Uh, another day, another gift. What's this thing? Mana crystal gain 1% damage on all your spells. It's not very big, to be honest. Castle supplies. Mana potion. Uh, you know, ma mana damage, spell damage, whatever. I'll take it. It can't hurt. Uh, I said I was going to build a ballista thingy. I want to get a big old ballista thingy. And uh, I think it could fire. And also, can I build it? It would be nice if we could build it, like, on these things. But I guess it kind of makes sense that we can't. Uh, can I shove it in here? I feel like this would be a good place for it. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me click this and I'll get rid of these. I feel like that would be a good ballista spot. It would be able to shoot on all sorts of things. You can hold Alt to see your damage numbers during a wave. Right, okay. It also shows you the build grid. Okay. Good to know. We got 282 gold. Should we build another ballista? Should we, like, sh where's a good place for it? Where we're cross through, like, two times. Like, here is not bad because you can fire at them over here and over here. Uh, not as... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Here-ish, I mean, where we already have the other one is also kind of good. I mean, this is also... You know, I'm just going to put it here and stop talking. There we go. And we can we can, we can can build yet another one? We got all sorts of monies. Let's, uh... I don't know. I mean, we should, like, throw it over here somewhere. Make sure that throw it over here is, like, a last line of defense. I don't like the fact that it doesn't get two attacks from here, though. It only gets to attack them as they're coming through here as opposed to getting two waves through here. I think I'll throw it, like, right here-ish. Yeah, we're going to get rid of... Get rid of you... And you, can I fit it here yet? No, nope. all right. And you, and you, there. We're gonna shove it right here. There we go. And then we can have, uh, you know, archer towers fill in the uh, the places I kind of just like emptied out here. Anywhere, anywhere else I can just shove one in here? There, you can have archer tower there. I'll have another one up in here somewhere, why not? Uh, throw one there. We out of, we're out of them? Okay, we are. We, we don't quite have enough for another one. Let's continue. I should probably try upgrading more things, too. Whoa, it's an ogre! It's huge at three units wide. It's not like the ghoul, which attacks everything. But if the ogre can't find a path big enough, it'll punch a path through. There's a path three wide and three high. The ogre will try to walk through that. Uh, do we have paths big enough for ogres? This is only too wide. I don't. I think he'll just punch through somewhere. I think he's just gonna like run right through here or something. We might be dead. We might already be screwed. Yeah, he's just gonna come right here. Uh, let's watch as we die horribly. We only have four little things right here. Uh, can I, oh, I'm gonna fireball him. Get fireballed. I'm gonna fireball the living heck out of him because I don't have any other way to really hurt this guy. That's that's all my fireballs. I can't do anything else. Um, I need what? Why did he get all his health back? I thought his health was lower than that. It seems to be. All right, let's let's speed this up a little bit. He's gonna get through one way or the other. It seems. Hopefully, our castle will survive a little bit. Shoot him more. I might actually kill him. 
Wow. I didn't think he was going to, like, actually die there, but it works out for me. We wasted all our mana, but that, that happens. I thought it's... I don't know. It seemed like his health came back out of nowhere. Maybe I'm imagining it. On wave 10, I'm expecting a giant... A uh, skeleton giant in the midst of Lord's ranks. It's kind of big, like an ogre, but also has five armor. I hope you have a plan for it. Well, I'm hoping the ballistas will actually kill it. Some artifacts we dug up might help. Uh, what is this? Sure. Do that stuff. Uh, we should probably repair this a little bit, maybe. Yeah, let's 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 repair these. Get these things all fixed up again. Uh, we'll get the wall back up. Maybe we'll double up on the wall. If we know they're coming here, then we can just kind of like double up on the walls a little bit. Uh, let me see. This is hotkey two. Uh, a tip: large enemies do splash damage. Make sure your less sturdy towers are blocks away from your walls. Okay, good to know, buddy. I already figured that one out, but you know. It, it's it's information, so that's something. Uh, let me see. Okay, that's good. Maybe we can put a ballista over here. So we get any more big boys coming through here. We're going to rain down ballistas on them. I like that idea a lot. So this is where they're going to be coming with the big guys. So we're going to ballista the heck out of these guys. And hopefully that'll be enough. I don't think anything else I could put down would really be in range. So we're going to leave that as it is. Uh, I guess we could put that in another mana generator. Generating more mana for more fireballs sounds good. And I want to do more research after this. Uh, let's go to spells. What else can we do? Uh, summon a blade of lightning from the sky in high precision and speed. Tornado. Summon a tornado that deals damage per second for 8 seconds and slows enemies' walk speed. Arcane Blast. Fire Arcane Blast to the increase in damage, cast speed, and pier uh, piercing the longer is fire continuously. A competent user of this magic would need a lot of mana. Yeah, I, I assume that would take a lot. Maybe Tornado or something would be useful. I don't know. Fireball seems decent. I can upgrade my Fireball? That might just be like the easy way to go. Upgrade it. This is upgrade for 25. Do I not have 25? I have 24. Of course I have 24. Of course I do. Let's, let's keep it going here. Wave number six. Here comes even more heavily armored enemies. Hit them hard! I hope my ballistas are up to the job here. Let's, uh, let's speed it up, get them out running out this way. I like, I like all the little enemies. They look cute. I mean, obviously they're coming to kill us all and they're undead and they want to, you know, ravage our peoples and stuff. But they look cute. Ooh, our ballistas shoot uh, fire ballista things. Are we killing them good? Are they, are they dying... Like, well, should we fireball them a little bit? I feel like they're getting really far. Oh, he's gonna, he's totally gonna die. Okay. They got really far, but, you know, we didn't die, so that's good. We got mana, 50, that's pretty cool. Beware of extremely high armored units. If a tower's damage is less than its armor, it'll do zero damage. I've seen way too many defenders get wrecked by that. Uh, some ar small artifacts we dug up. Uh, loan 100 to town spells can get paid back 60 per turn for five turns. Um, well, it's not, I mean, assuming I live that long. <laughs> uh, you know, like an additional option. You know, I'll just, I'll give them money. Why not? We'll assume I live that long, even though that's a really dumb assumption to make. And uh, let's see if we can research some other kind of cool tower here. What a Dragon Slayer? Upgrade a Ballista Tower to the Dragon Slayer Ballista, tripling its damage and allowing it to attack air units at the expense of no longer piercing. I want piercing. Piercing seems important. Uh, Windrunner Archers. Uh, let me see here. Crossbowmen and women increase tower health and damage. Can also pierce one unit and does double damage to air units at the expense of... I think this is worth it right here. Let's do that. Can I upgrade these? Like, how much money does that take? I Can I upgrade it here? Is it... Oh, okay, I, I do have to manually upgrade all these. Okay, this will... This would actually cost a lot. So, I, I can't upgrade, like, all of them? I can only upgrade one of those, apparently. But you better be the most awesome archer tower ever. Alright. Let's keep it going. Wave number seven. Uh, flyers are incoming. Uh -huh. To fly directly to the castle, where only some towers can shoot flying units. I do have some archers. These guys, I don't know if they can shoot uh, air or not. I know the upgraded versions could, but they lose their arch uh, their uh, armor piercing, which I was not a fan of. Archers, you can shoot them, right? Yeah, archers, do your thing. Okay, well these guys over here can still do stuff. 
Okay, so yeah, we probably need more archers around there to help with things. Uh, we could fireball things a little bit, I guess. I think we're, we're mostly fine, so I don't really have to worry about it. Alright, so we should throw some more anti-air stuff near the, art, the, the castle, just to you know, make sure. You may have noticed these weird rock outcroppings. That I did notice. There are powerful monuments. Excav excavate them to benefit from their effects. Here's a little gift from the townsfolk. Uh, castle heals for 300 health after picking up the artifact. What's my health at? I guess I could take that. It wouldn't hurt. Uh, castle HP up. All your towers get four additional health. Yeah, okay, I'll take the free health. There we go. And uh, can I, should I excavate this super thing over here? Let's do it. We, we uh, Enemies take 40% more damage from spells. There we go. We, we did it. All right, maybe we should upgrade more things. Can we, up, can we upgrade uh, some of these guys over here? If I upgrade them, do they get their health back? Because that'd be nice. Let's just test it. He came back with full health, so that does seem a way to do that. Um, where's another? This is a good one to upgrade. Has a long area of actually shooting at things, and I think that's about all I can afford. It's not a bad one to upgrade as well. Can I afford it? 60? All right, that'll be the last one. I keep saying I'm going to buy uh, uh, research upgrades, and I don't do it. All right, wave number eight incoming. Let's see how how badly we're going to die. Let's go ahead and speed it up so we can get a look at these guys here. All right, we got... Oh, I said I was going to build more anti-flyer stuff, and I forgot all about it. They've only set three of them this time, though, so I think we'll be okay. But yeah, I do want to get... This guy's not getting shot at all. Can I hit him with a fireball? There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do something there. Hopefully I can take these guys out. Should I fireball them a little bit? Get fireballed. Take that. There we go. Wave cleared. Gold from artifacts. There we go. Uh, artifacts is just the uh, townspeople paying me back my loan, I think. Choose wisely. Okay, what's this one do? Mana potion. I'm already full mana, no biggie. Remodeling tools, next five tower scraps, or returns 100% of their value. Uh, can also be used on rocks to remove... I didn't know you can remove rocks. Now we know. 300 health on the tower. I don't really need that. I'll take... I'll get 10 gold and get better stuff next time. Sure, why not? Uh, let me see. I said I was gonna, like, look for things to upgrade here. What do you do over here? Flame tower? Apothecary, perfect for the entrepreneurial minded. Sell a portion of your mana per turn in exchange for gold. Why just defend the world and get rich instead? I mean, I can do that. I'm going to try doing it. I do have, you know, the mana generators going, so that is that will be free money for us, right? Something cool to try. We should probably get more. I said I was going to build more anti-air over here, and I should probably actually do that now, before I forget yet again. And I held shift that time and actually built multiple of them, so it's a nice thing to actually remember to do. Can I shove a couple towers over here, maybe? Yeah, we'll just shove a couple towers over there. We're just about out of money here. I don't know if there's anywhere else I can just shove them. Anywhere where they're going to see at least some action, like over here, they're going to see some action, why not? Oh, it, it takes 30 gold and we have 29, of course. All right, well, let's continue on our merry way here. Wave number nine. Anything special here? Nope, we're just going to have to wait and see what it throws at us. Let's see what we got. We got more skelly children. A lot of them this time. We should probably start worrying about AoE. Because we have zero AoE at this point, and it seems like that's going to be a problem. It might be a problem now, actually. We might be totally screwed. My fireball might have AoE. So that'd be something. Yeah, I think we might be in trouble. I don't know if my fireball actually has AoE or not. Alright, that's enough fireballs. We definitely need to get some AoE going somewhere. I have to let, maybe I'll try to probably throw it right there, honestly. I'm starting to take a liking to you, so here's a reminder. The next wave is gonna be a doozy. Take this round to prepare well. Another day, another gift. Uh what's this one? Tower repairs. Sure. Um, let me see here. I, I probably should have paid more attention to that, but I just so didn't. Uh, let me see. I wanted to do... Oh, yeah. I wanted to do flamethrower thingy of some sort, right? Flamethrower tower? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's do this one. Let's get a couple of those going. Where is that one at? Is that you? Flamethrower. There we go. And uh, we'll probably get them around here, maybe? 
Just like shove a couple of them over here because they're going to be walking through here. There we go. Let's see if we can get another one. It's a, it's a seven hotkey. Okay, now I know. I'll do something like that. There you go. Get flamethrowered up as they walk through here. Can we do another one? Sure, why not? There we go. When they walk through there, we're going to do crazy AoE damage and hopefully pick them off with the rest of, rest of our archers as they walk through there. And I think now we're going to get the Skeleton King or whatever it is. I built this stuff up here hoping to take care of them. I'm sure it's not going to be enough, but, you know, stuff happens. My first playthrough, it's not going to be amazing or anything. Hmm, I'm surprised you're still here. I don't remember what voice I gave him last time. I guess I'll send the big boys now. Well, yeet, here he comes. All right, we're getting big boys, apparently. That's about all I know. Let's speed it up so we actually see these big boys. Where are you at, big boys? I heard things about you. Uh, oh, wow, you, you sent a, a giant skelly dude. But if he comes here, I got ballistas there to take care of him, so we might be okay. They are, uh... They're not doing, like, any damage to him. Like, at all. Should I fireball him? Like, get fire... I'm gonna spam the heck out of fireballs. That's all I could do. I, uh, I, I think flamethrowers down here did good. But we still got some guys here to take care of. I think we're gonna be okay there. This guy... Maybe we'll survive? We're, we're, you know, our ballistas are doing ballista things, and it does not seem to be doing very much, if I'm being honest. Ballistas, do more ballista things. Do I have enough fireballs for this guy? I do not. We just have to sit there while nothing happens. Are we damaging him at all? Oh my god, that was, like, we, we barely got him at all there. That was kind of close. I was kind of extremely close, if I'm being honest. Sorry, it's hitting next year. Woo, what a wave! I think you got potential making it this far and all. If you can defend against every type of minion the Mist Lord has, has he'll back off. Good luck. Here's a little gift from the townsfolk. Uh, repair supplies. Yeah, sure. We'll do more damage with our spells. Sounds good. I definitely have to fix our little mess up here. Let's get another... Can we upgrade our wall? That'd be a pretty handy thing to do. Castle Thorns? That doesn't seem... Oh, improve your castle's anti-mist magic. Pushing up mist and making a more buildable area. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm there yet. I, I gotta rebuild some stuff first. Let me make sure I get some stuff that needs rebuilding rebuilt first. Uh, see this T T2 here. Hold on. Be careful, it gets harder from here. Yeah, I assume as much. You, you tend to assume that. All right, let's get another wall here. There we go. And uh, I think that worked fairly well. Can we? I didn't mean to build that there. That's uh, that was not meant to happen. Anyway, can I hit? Can I build on top of? I mean, just you know, I doubt it. I was just wondering if I build on top of the walls. I mean, you know, it seems like it should be a thing that maybe should be possible, but you know, I kind of expected it not to be, so that's okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we have 300 gold left over, and I think we have pretty decent defenses for most things. Why not just, like, see... You know, I can, uh... Let me see. I'm gonna go to my research. Let's go to, like, level 2 here. What? How dare you? You shall surely pay. So he didn't like me upgrading stuff. I'm not entirely sure what that did for me. I upgraded... My, my castle here looks different. Do I, do I... I thought it was supposed to give me more room to build. Can I build all the way up here? Oh, I can build all the way up here now. Oh, like we pushed it back this way. That's not the way I was expecting it to happen, but that's okay. Um, so we don't have much gold to take advantage of that right now, but we can, we can do other things now. Uh, I think I'll just hit forward for now. We'll just hit start. And then I'll try to strategize as to how I want to build forward from here. I see you've bested the first boss. I have so many more in store for you. All right, so uh, things are just going to get harder, apparently. That's all right. Where you at, dude? Oh, you got the big boy coming for me. Well, we still got these ballistas here. I'm sure it will do something. Uh, we should... Oh, is that the new guy in there? He has a gold spikies on his helmet. I, I think we'll be able to handle this guy. We took him out last time without ballistas, so I'm sure with ballistas it'll be easier. Uh, let's see how we do. I'm hoping flames will help against these guys. I'm not entirely sure if they will or not. That seemed helpful, right? Maybe? 
I feel like they're still getting through here. I feel like way too many people are getting through. Okay, it seems like we did okay. This guy dead yet? You need to die, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Alright. We're still surviving. You can pay to spy in future waves. The Mist Lord is sly, so it's best to be prepared for what's to come. Uh, hopefully one of these will help. Uh, is this just gold? I'll take gold. I like gold. Uh, let's get some more walls going. We'll shift click these over. And we should probably repair some of these things. Hit the uh, repair button. Only costs one gold to repair, even if they're totally messed up, so that's kind of nice. Holding up this magic wall takes all my magics. Okay, well, good for you, buddy. I, I don't really care. There we go. Let's get some repairs going here. It's much cheaper to repair than I thought it was going to be. Is there anywhere else that needs repairs? I mean, it's cheaper than rebuilding, that's for sure. Oh, these rocks can die, too. I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, well, you know, things to consider for the future. Uh, let me see here. Where else can we build... Where we can, like, funnel them through to, like, make them take more damages. Uh, more damages they take, the better in my book. I guess we could throw a couple of things right here. Um, where do I want to throw down? Maybe throw down a couple archer towers over here. You guys are going to walk through here, you're going to have to walk through the archer towers. Yeah. Like that. And maybe we'll upgrade them. Am I feeling that bold? I don't know yet. I'm going to upgrade a couple of them. We'll see how it goes. Is there a button upgrade? I don't I don't know if there's a hotkey for actually upgrading. I'm not seeing one. Let's see how these things do. They're upgraded archer towers. I'm not sure if they're worth the money or not. But I'm kind of just experimenting a little bit. Seeing what does what and seeing what's useful, what's not. Wave 12 income. I should have spied, but I didn't. I'm a bad boy. All right, what do we got coming? Let's speed it up here. Three times speed. Uh, is this more little minions coming? A whole lot of them. Nothing we, you know, can't handle, though. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. I don't think we'll need to do much. A little archers here might help a little bit. Yeah, they're actually doing a good job. Before they even got to us, the uh, big armored people were actually brought down a fair bit. So no complaints there. Maybe we should just upgrade more of our archer towers. You know, instead of just building a million more. Because upgrading them definitely helped them cut through that armor like it was nothing. Especially in, like, high traffic areas. Like, you know, in, like these were good ones to do. Let's see if there's anywhere else to cut through a couple of times or have more yeah. shooting area for. Another day, another gift. What's this one? Repair all your towers. Meh. Uh, next five tower scraps. Ten gold. I'll just take the ten gold. There we go. Anywhere where we have high traffic, where they're definitely going to be coming, and definitely like more than once would be good. But even even just right here, I think will be good. Let's throw one right there. There we go. Can we research anything? Windrunner archers. We need skinnier archers. Uh, through intense training, your archers are able to slim down and fit two per tower. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, okay, we get double da Do we have to upgrade them all to have that happen? Like, is that is that how that works? Yeah, we do have to do that. Okay, but it costs less. They'll do more damage. Let's just throw a couple of those down. Let's see how it goes. You know, let's split out the uh, damage a little bit. Uh, let me see. Have you be a doubler? I don't know. It's just something interesting to split things up a little bit. We have the, uh, you know, armor-piercing uh, towers, and now we have the skinny archers. And I think we can do one more. Let's just, you know, can we upgrade any of the guys? You know, let's uh, build a tower over here. We had one over here, then we kind of, like, lost it. There we go. Now it's there, and we'll upgrade them in a little bit, hopefully. If we could upgrade these to do uber-powerful damage, it'd probably be useful as well. Maybe we should build more walls over here, too. So I just, like, throw down a couple walls if I can afford it. Because they, like, they take damage just from, like, hitting the walls, I think. So just having them there, I think, is useful. They'll attack them, take damage. Buys me a little bit more time to hit stuff with my guys here, so I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead. Let me exit out of there. Hit start. See what's coming. As my old colleague used to say, fly, you fools! All right, it's a Gandalf joke there. Okay. So they got flyers coming at us. The only anti-flying we have is the archer's towers. Uh, so they're definitely going get, get through and hit our, uh, 
our, let me fast forward here. They're definitely going to hit our tower. Our castle, rather. Uh, is it ever going to end? There we go. We fi they finally hit the end of them. Are we going to survive? I did put archers over here just in case. Uh, fireball? Defender bum! Do more defender bumming! Oh no! We, uh, we got totally annihilated. We reached level 13, score 282. I guess you get a score per minion. Alright, well, uh, we died a horrible death. That is just our fate in life. Anyway, guys, we're going to end this one here. This one is called The Hidden Valley. I have a link down in the description for you guys to check it out. It's not quite out yet, but it will be actually really soon. I think by the uh, by the end of August, it should be going live on Steam. So, like I said, you guys can check that out. Are uh, you guys new to this channel? This is what I do. I play indie games every day here on the internet. I tend to play tower defense games like this one here and core defense and ministry, but also base automation games, uh, vehicle engineering for sure, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, if you are into stuff like that, I uh, want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you know what to put out in your content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.